Hey what's up Spartans welcome back to another video and in today's video they just released a new blog post for Halo Infinite and we are going to dive in on what was said on the blog post. Uh, this blog post is mainly about the audio uh, but I don't want to go too much into details you know on what was said on the blog on the uh, blog post. Uh, I won't really read the full thing uh, I'm just going to read some of the main parts. Uh, you guys can read that yourself which I will leave the link in the description so go ahead and do that. So right off the bat, uh, one of the developers at P43 talks about the uh, the ambient sounds. So here he says, and I quote, uh, A variety of factors feed into the system, combining gameplay states, time of day, location tracking, timers, and more. All working together to bring the environment to life. This gives us the, the ability to create a dynamic a mix of ambient sounds that remains compelling and immersive the entire time you're playing. And this is cool, it reminds me of Halo C where whatever location you go to you always hear those background uh, uh, sounds and, and, it, and it really feels mysterious, it really uh, builds up that atmosphere that you're in uh, and it really does feel immersive uh, and it's what made Halo C quite unique. So the idea is in Halo Infinite uh, when it comes to being in a different environment, these sounds will play very different whatever location you're in, uh, you're not going to be hearing the same sounds you know, over and over again, uh, so they will be unique in their own way. And I heard something about they are using uh, acoustic for every single location you go to, so if you were firing your weapon, you, your gun will, will sound a little different depending on what environment you're in. Uh, they are bringing, they are bringing the, the sound quality to life, I'm really looking forward to hearing these ambient sounds and the weapon sounds in Halo Infinite. They have shown off the ambient sound where you will hear this uh, as you enter in the foreign interior structure on Zeta Halo. I'm going to stop speaking for a bit and let you guys hear this audio. Wow, I don't know about you guys, you know, but damn, this ambient sound is like as if the, the flood were making an appearance. It creates that horror feeling to it, it really reminds me of the Halo CE uh, 343 Guilty Spot mission where you first encounter the flood. If we look at this concept or uh, image of Master Chief being in this massive, creepy, abandoned foreigner in terror structure, oh my gosh, this location you don't even want to visit. Uh, not even the Banish will probably come to this unknown place. I feel like I'm getting library vibes you know, from Halo CE, uh, which is which is a good thing in a way because I really enjoyed the library. Uh, I mean, I used to be terrified, you know, playing that mission, you know, you know as a kid, uh, but the mission you know, grew on me as time went by. So I hope, to, so I hope we, you know, we do get that same feeling again, you know, probably the same mission like that in Halo Infinite. Moving on, here's another audio sound, uh, but, this, but this time it's the battle rifle. Again, I'm, I'm gonna stop speaking and let you guys hear, this, hear the uh, BR sound for yourself. So hopefully you guys enjoy the audio. Okay, now we listen to the sound, I'll be honest, I'm not too overwhelmed from what I've heard. Like, I'm not too like, too impressed, but I do admit it does sound 
really solid, you know, better than Halo, 5, Halo 4 and 5, you know. Uh, however, I just can't see this sound going with the battle rifle. I feel like the sound has like a long delay to it when it's firing. Uh, if they, you know, just speed it up, it will sound better, I reckon. Uh, because there's a version someone made, uh, someone re-edited the, uh, the version and actually speed up the audio. Uh, I will do a, a battle rifle audio comparison and, and let me know which one you guys think is better. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, hear this one, guys. Alright, now that you guys heard that, I feel like the editor version sounds better. Uh, it gives me that classic uh, battle rifle uh, uh, feel uh, from Halo 2. Uh, at least a little bit, at least in, at least in my opinion it does. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys think they should speed up uh, the sound or, uh, or, should, or should they just keep it the way it is? You know, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Okay, now here's another concept art of a new banished brute weapon called the skewer. I think that's how you pronounce it, I do apologize if I'm saying it wrong. But damn, this brute weapon looks so deadly. Uh, look at the knife at the front of it. Uh, I could already picture myself doing an assassination on an enemy player using the skewer and stabbing my opponent with the knife at the front of the skewer. Like, how dope would that be? Uh, whoever made this, you know, did a fantastic uh, job, all props to him. This feels like a brute weapon, you know, you could imagine this weapon fits in the Halo universe. It looks so damn good, you know, it doesn't look too generic, you know, because, you know, I'm only saying that because 243, you know, when you look, when you look at their weapon, their weapons design in Halo 5, whatever, and H4, they do kind of look generic, but in, but this one, this one, they really nail, nail off the art style. Okay guys, I think that's about it in today's video. Uh, I know this is a probably a, a short video that I've done. Uh, I just wanted to get to the main point. I'm not one of those Halo content creators who will spend one hour making a video and exaggerating every single thing that was said on the blog post. Uh, honestly, most of the stuff in the blog post wasn't even, wasn't I wasn't too crazy about it. You know, I, in fact, I wasn't even going to make a video, but I was like, you know what, I might as well, just might as well make a short video at least, you know. Uh, but I, I mean, I am grateful, uh, you know, that we even got this uh, uh, blog post. Uh, I mean, what I really enjoyed from this blog post was some of the audio pieces they were showing off and the new brute weapon. Uh, that's that's all I was excited for from this blog post, really. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm just hoping they show more PvP. I want to see gameplay. I want to see like, uh, I want to see uh, multiplayer. You know, I want to I want to know what's going on with Forge. Uh, maybe we we'll get that in the next blog post, and that's when I probably spend. You know 20 minutes making a video just for that or probably at least like 15 you know me exaggerating over you know uh pvp and you know the gameplay i mean why not right you know that's the that's the I mean that's the main thing we're waiting for but anyways i'm gonna stop the video here now if you guys are new to the channel please do smack that uh, subscribe button and like the video if you want to see more hater content and be sure to follow us on twitch if you guys don't have a twitch account be sure to create one and it takes you two seconds to just create username and password and be sure to drop a follow on Twitch because we literally stream Halo on there every single day. So please go ahead and drop a follow and I'll see you Spartans in the next video. Bye.